Hi, I'm Richard, and today I'm going to be giving you some insider tips on how to boost your chances of getting into London Business School's highly acclaimed Masters in Management. Now, over the past 10 years, I've had an 86% success rate of helping students to get an offer to this university course. That is seven times the 12% average, where eight people are applying for every one place. And that's because we've got 52 tips for LBS. Because this is such a detailed application process, there is so much that we can do to support our students and give them the competitive edge. We won't have time for all of it today, but let's jump straight in and see how many we can get through. Now, London Business School has seven hidden criteria. They will be looking through your application and marking for seven different criteria out of five before deciding whether or not to invite you to an alumni interview. If you think that you can copy and paste your personal statement into LBS, I'm afraid to tell you there is no personal statement requirement. They will instead ask you between 10 and 13 individual questions about your career plans and alternative career plans, the impact you want to make on the community and what you're going to do with your degree, as well as networking, impact on family and friends, and many other things. This application will, on average, take my students longer to submit than all their other applications together. But that's great because it gives us more opportunities to stand out and hit those seven hidden criteria. Number one is a positive impact with your degree. Now, this might surprise you, but you will be highly, highly rated on what you're going to do with your degree. And there are many ways to hit this. For example, have you helped support diversity in the workplace? Have you potentially helped cover for a colleague whilst they were taking prayer breaks? Have you done some philanthropic work or set up a charity and helped solve a social problem in your local area? Have you had significant international experience and, and, um, and exposure and enjoyed working with people of other cultures? Any of these can help hit this tricky criteria, particularly as there is no specific question that asks you this despite it being a hidden criteria. The most relevant question LBS tends to ask here is what's your most significant international experience to date? And that's where we encourage candidates to talk widely about the positive impact they've had on others they work around. Now, before I do the second of the hidden criteria, if you want to know more of these tips and tricks, you can work with a professional admissions consultant such as myself and one of my brilliant team to maximize the chances of you getting into London Business School. Tip number two is to have a detailed, realistic career plan. In fact, of the seven hidden criteria, we are told by student alumni interviewers the number one they look out for is how realistic is your career plan. They want you to be ambitious and bold, but also to be realistic. It's not just enough to say, I want to be a, I want to be a consultant at McKinsey. Talk about which desk you'll sit on. An excellent example would be, I want to work on BCG's unique strategy and transformation desk, which helps SMEs and emerging markets to find funding for their ventures and solve social problems in the MENA region. That is specific, that is unique, that is well-researched, that is getting closer to a five out of five. Even better, LBS with their alumni interview now has something to talk about that is more specific and helps you to stand out and differentiate yourself from other candidates. We see how the good application preparation work and knowing some of this hidden criteria helps set us up not just to get the alumni interview, but to succeed in the alumni interview by talking about things that they want to talk about. We're not gonna have time to go through all of those tips and tricks, but I encourage you to look at our other videos in our LBS series and or contact us for more of these tips. Now, London Business School requires a GMAT for all of its courses, regardless if you're a UK resident or not. The average GMAT score we're looking for for Mars in Management fluctuates between about 680 and 690 each year, which is a fairly high score. However, exemptions are possible if you are able to show an excellent long track record of mathematical aptitude and communication and or have done similar tests. 
we've helped about half our students to secure an exemption over the years. And even those who haven't receive an offer on average 30 marks lower than that average score that's required. In fact, we've had some candidates even score as low as 60590 still getting in because the rest of their application smashed those hidden criteria. Now, London Business School has admissions cycles. The good news here is that you will know when you're going to be getting a decision for your interview and your final result. But there's a lot of strategy as to when you apply. In fact, unless you are an incredibly strong candidate who smashes all the criteria, I generally advise avoiding the first application cycle because you'll be competing with people who've had maybe over a year to prepare for this and may well have been working with expert consultants such as myself to give them that competitive edge. Equally, be careful applying in the very final cycle where often people might have been recently made redundant or lost their job. They've had one or two years of experience, they apply last minute, but they just have more experience than you and there's very few places remaining. So therefore, the middle cycles, I think, strategically are right for most candidates. This also gives people more time to build those experiences, take on internships, do additional courses, learn maybe some coding software and other things to get their applications right. It's a lot of strategy as to how and when you apply when it comes to London Business School, as well as giving yourself time to get the highest possible GMAT. And this is why we help hundreds of students each year decide how and when to apply. Now, there is an alternative course to the Master's in Management, and that's the two-year Global Master's in Management, in which LBS has partnered with the University of Shanghai, and you'll get a second degree doing a year of study in Shanghai. Now, it's more of a time and cost investment, but your success chances nearly treble when you apply to this course, which gives you an LBS and a University of Shanghai degree, which can really help you stand out, particularly if you have any aspirations to work in China or in companies that work with China. This is a very unique option. It's a bit more limited than some of the other two-year degrees where you have many choices of countries to go to, but if you have an interest in LBS and you maybe don't quite meet the high grade standards for their general course, this gives you three times the chance of getting in. And that sort of strategic edge can make all the difference to you getting a top-ranked university. London Business School is unique in the UK. It's more like the American business schools. Your grade requirement are weighted lower than your work experience. This is brilliant because London Business School probably should demand a first class or equivalent, that's a 4.0 GPA, but they will accept quite low two ones if you show other brilliant leadership, teamwork, and work experience impact. So I strongly, strongly recommend you to invest in spring weeks internships. You have a two year maximum work experience. It might well be worth waiting one year, getting some work experience in a relevant field before applying to give yourself an advantage. And it's amazing to me that you can get into a top, top five global university with a 2-1 into such a great course. As with any management course, it is essential that you demonstrate you understand what management is as an academic discipline. It's not enough to say you've managed someone or bossed someone about at work. You need to be talking about procurement, organizational behavior and structure, how the uh, accounting, finance and marketing departments all need to communicate. If you don't have much knowledge of management, it is essential that you read around on these topics, watch YouTube videos and public lectures, educate yourself on management so that you're able to demonstrate a knowledge of management above the other eight candidates who are applying for that same place. A top tip to help you stand out for London Business School is do your university research. You're gonna have as many as 12 questions to answer and you want to be sprinkling throughout these evidence that you have aligned what the course offers you with what you want to go and achieve in the world. LBS want this amazing alumni network and have amazing courses. So pick the electives before you apply and mention how those relate either to the past work experience you've had and or to the career plan you're gonna have. Beyond that, LBS has these amazing opportunities, international business trips, and all sorts of things like their London Labs Entrepreneurial Hub. Mention each of these unique experiences and how they will relate to what you want to achieve in your career to give yourself a more specific, thorough, detailed, and authentic application compared to the competition.
If you're looking for the competitive edge in your application and you'd like to work with me or one of the 1,000 ex-admission staff or university applications consultants in our network, contact us using the information on screen now or in the description below. In addition to this, if you'd like to see the five pillars of a master's personal statement and indeed an application that has been annotated, you can sign up using your email below and we'll send you more tips for LBS as well as more videos on how to succeed. Lastly, it helps us out greatly if you like and subscribe and please do leave a comment if you have any questions. We'll try and get back to as many of you as you can to help out. Most importantly, good luck in your applications.